Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you. Pastor, recently I, I was reading somewhere, and I don't know the exact amount for the Ukrainians, but it's in the thousands of dollars per household when you look at the total package that the United States have given relief and aid to families versus the $700 per family in Maui. And I begin to look at our, our, our administration and the corruption in that. Here we are having a state devastated, one of our own states devastated by fire and disaster, and families are getting $750 per household when the cost of living in Hawaii is expensive. And then Ukraine, the United States is sending millions of dollars, which would mean that there are thousands of dollars given per household in the Ukraine. What do you make of that? I think that's corruption in, in politics. I, I think this is something that uh, Americans, many Americans have become aware of. The news really doesn't cover it because if it isn't something that makes the Democrat Party look good, they're not going to cover it or they're going to explain it away. Uh, but I, I think it's terrible. I think what we're doing is we're, we're uh, neglecting our own. You know, there are so many people who had such a problem with the with the phrase um, that Trump made famous, you know, make America great again and all of that. And they got really upset with the, the term um, America first uh, to the point that they really don't realize uh, that that really should be a priority. I, I don't necessarily like slogans and all of that. I think that they very often are trite or shallow. But, but the fact is, is that we need to take care of of the nation that we belong to, that we live in, and and Hawaiians and our American citizens, and Hawaii is an American state, and um, and there are many in great need, you know, at the moment. I mean, they have they have lost uh, hundreds, hundreds are still missing, children are still missing, and um, we have a president, and I'm, I'm I'm sorry to say, but it's true, who is apparently apparently more bent on taking his vacation than he is uh, taking care of the people that, that elected him. Hawaii is a blue state, and yet you're, you're seeing that the people are being neglected, the help is not coming through. Thank God for churches and for charitable organizations that, that actually care about people, our church included. We, we already have teams that are being assembled to go and to do cleanup and help in Hawaii. And no, it's not because it's just a beautiful state and everybody wants to go to Hawaii. It's because there's a real human need there that, that we have uh, disaster relief teams that go and help people in such things. We've had them go to various states here, you know, in Louisiana and, and uh, other states, many other states over the years. And we've been involved in that for a long time because we realize that, that the, the greatest help that we can give is, is help that's needed at this time. You know, Paul said that we were to be trained to, to meet urgent needs, and these are urgent needs, but we don't rely on the government. The government shows us what the priority is when, when they take our tax dollars and, mm -hmm. and give it to Ukrainians, when they're worried about shoring up the borders of the Ukraine and ignore the borders here in the United States, both North and South, incidentally. And uh, we allow, you know, hundreds of different countries and, and um, millions of people who really ought not to be here when we allow them to come in, when we dismember portions of a wall that had been built to make a, a, a statement, you know, and then people just begin walking through those those walls and all of that. We're living in a bad time where America is not loved by those who are governing. And I believe, it's my personal opinion, but I know there are many others who agree, that the one who's holding the highest office in the nation and the most powerful position in the world is, is, is very incapable of uh, managing the job. I don't believe he's the one who's doing it. I would not be believed if there's somebody else who's doing it on his behalf. Wouldn't even, here we go, wouldn't even <laughs> be surprised if o Obama is the one who's giving orders and, and, uh, and Biden basically is just a puppet because you give him some money and he seems to be happy. 
And so, now why would I expect this man who doesn't even acknowledge he has a grandchild, why would I expect this man to care for somebody else's children? Why would we believe that a man who is so patently, mm. patently um, incapable, a man who can't give a speech, and, and I'm sorry for that, I really am, I don't mock him for that, but he can't give a speech, why would I expect him to be able to reason through uh, solutions for problems that we have in the United States or in the world. Why would we believe that he can lead us? And so, no, I'm not surprised at what happened in Hawaii any more than, than what happened in East Palestine, Ohio. You know, there is a neglect if it doesn't profit. And that's the problem. And that's what we're seeing right now. Yeah. And God help us all. Amen. But that's what we're seeing. Unfortunately, yes. And uh, so uh, that means sad, but corrupt. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We wanted to do invite you to our Wednesday evening services at 7 p.m. as you're taking us through Romans 12. Romans 12, the gifts of the Spirit. Yep. I want to invite you guys to come out and join us, and that's at 7 p.m. We do have child care available. We do look forward to having you guys come out and join us. Thank you for tuning in today. Pastor, thank you for sharing. Okay. God bless you guys, and we look forward to seeing you soon.